so in this video tutorial we're going to be going over the cutter menu for the silver bullet inside shortcuts a lot four and what we have here we have a heart and a square and i'm going to just go, go ahead and select the heart right here and we're going to go ahead and hit the cutter menu and you'll see why i selected this here shortly so we're briefly going to go over some of these settings here so we have the model of course right now there's only one model that's professional and down here we have the connection usb also, there's the you may have the option for serial right there. Test connection. This will allow you to see if you're all set up properly with the silver bullet, making sure one that is it that the silver bullet is online, two that it's connected to your computer. And by hitting this button here, you will see the rollers go back and forth. You also hear it move. Uh, no cut action will happen. It will just move the mat forward and back if you have the mat in in there. All right, so cut settings here. So we'll go over the first thing here. We, so we have the what we call WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get. That's what that stands for. And basically, however you have this laid out on your mat is how you would expect it to cut out. Okay, so once you choose origin point, you'll see that all these items are shifted to the far right. Um, so if you have it set up to cut out this way, Wherever you set your origin on your silver bullet, that is where uh, it's going to reference the origin, the far bottom right, the way that I have the mat set it up right here with the arrow pointed north on how it's actually going to start the cut. So this is just the, the various cut modes. Center point, of course, um, you're going to choose the center of the paper or the media, and it's going to center everything that it cuts uh, the option over here you know cut selection only uh, it's pretty self-explanatory if i select this you'll see that the uh, square will go away but the heart will stay so that's how you can um, cut just what you select if you wish all right uh, over here we have the mirror of course and as you can see it just flips this right here uh, a perfect example case where you may want to use this is maybe you're doing um, you know, heat transfer vinyl, or you're, you want to reverse vinyl, uh, you, you would use these options here, mirror, mirror horizontally or mirror vertically. Uh, the use software speed and pressure, that's where uh, not, not only if you click this option here, it will ignore the settings that you have on the machine itself, okay? And it will use what you have down here in this setting right here. So, that is how you can, um, in the software, if you don't want to hold down the arrows or uh, you know choose a sp specific speed or pressure on the machine itself, you can set it here and it should work. Otherwise, you can leave it unchecked. Now over here, when it comes to presets, you, you may have something here, you may not, but uh, this gives you the ability to uh, create presets. So say you have a certain type of paper and you can create a preset for it, and it will remember all of the items for that you have set for that paper, if that makes sense. So you can uh, alter all the stuff that's right here, and uh, I think I have copy paper here selected. So you, you'll you'll see that the speed and pressure settings will change here. So we'll use software, copy paper, and if I change change this down here you'll notice that the custom preset has also changed. Now down here you'll see the blade, um, you know, the type of holders here, come standard with blade and pen. And associated with that, you have uh, values here. And those values come from blade offset and overcut. So, uh, for example, say you have the embossing holder and you wanted to uh, use that. So you'd go down here to custom preset, and it's already zeroed out. So that, that is what you need for the embosser, for example. So you have a blade offset of zero, overcut of zero. And we're going to show you um, on the Craft Edge website a little later on that what the blade offset and overcut look like because based upon the blade and the thickness of your medium, you're going to have to alter this. What uh, the silverbulletcutters.com uh, has is a generic... Uh, get you kind of started, get you in the right area types based on the blade because they have the 45 degree blade, 60 degree blade, and the 60 degree 
uh, long shaft blade. So all, all three of those blades will have various values associated with them that will get you a starting point on what they would recommend, and then you can adjust it based upon um, what they would suggest to do is a test cut. So when you do a test cut, you can see what kind of shape you're getting, and then you can compare it to this right here, this image that you're seeing right here. So if you're wanting to create a holder, for example, uh, like I said, we're going to do the embossing, and it does have a zero blade offset and a zero overcut. So we're going to go ahead and hit the add button. And now we can actually add this to our tool. So we're going to name this embossing. And we're going to hit OK. So now that is set up. So I can go back to blade and it will put in those values for the blade. And now I can go back to my embossing and it has the values for that. Multi-cut is uh, just that it's you know if I would select this it will go around every single shape not only cut it once it will go around it one more time so for thicker material you may want to have your multi cut uh, up high when you're doing embossing uh, you may want to have this up maybe three times because the more times that will go around the shape the deeper the indentation may be so that's why you may want to use the multi-cut. All right, so before we end this video, I've got one more thing to talk about with this. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. I'm going to select the square. And if you look over here at the wrench, we have the type of line over here. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the draw pen because we didn't talk about the pen holder option with the cutter menu. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here. And the pen holder type um, right here, we, you know, we had the choice between blade and then there's pen. So as you can see, we're, we're missing some options down here. So the pins automatically assumed that the, uh, the overcut and offset are going to be zero. And it gives us the option down here if we have draw lines and draw plus cut lines. So uh, say I had, just like we had over here, we, we made one shape strictly draw lines, and no cutting whatsoever. So if I were to go and hit the cut button, it will ignore the heart and it will only draw the square. Now you can change this right here to, to draw and draw plus cut lines. So what, what this is going to do, it's going to not only go after the square, but it will also hit the heart as well. So that's how you can define items in sure cuts a lot. Uh, if I were to hit the blade and I were to hit cut, it would cut the heart and it would just ignore the square because it is a draw line rather than a cut. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you got something from this and thanks for watching.